I cut my hair. It's the Prez, Lawrence Presman from wagertalk.com, and you're watching the presidential NFL opening line report. We're going to take apart all the games on this uh, segment. We're only going to do one segment this week. But first, a little bit of ACDC. How great is this song? I went to the Leafs game last night. They played the Golden Knights. Got my money's worth. They went to a shootout. Unbelievable to watch hockey live. But they played this song. And I thought, yes, it's overheard. Yes, it's overplayed. But it's so good. We got to play it for you guys before we take apart the card. Uh, what we're going to do this week is only do one segment. Uh, we'll look at all the games on the board. But before we get into that, a quick promo for you all. Last week, the promotion went really, really well. So we'll do the exact same promotion. You can get all of my NFL plays at wagertalk.com. The playoffs and the uh, regular season for three hundred and fifty dollars. Just go to wagertalk.com and use the promo code NFL three fifty. I am sixteen and thirteen on the week. I was sixteen and eleven last week, but I had a over two week. Uh, a, little, a little bit of a mid-season slump, if you will, but I am set to roll. Now is a great time to play my uh, NFL picks. Go to wagertalk.com, use the promo code NFL350. And also, make sure to check me out on Twitter. My Twitter is at PrezWagerTalk, at PrezWagerTalk. Uh, and share this video like this video it would be greatly appreciated. It takes me a while to put it together, um, so please share it. Let's get into the card, folks. We uh, start up with a Thursday night game. Seattle going into Arizona. Uh, Seattle is a minus six, and this Seattle team is really tough to bet. Their their offense is so sporadic. Uh, one week great, one week terrible. Last week, they couldn't move the ball at all. Washington surprised them winning outright in Seattle, something that is very rare. Uh, and I, I just can't back the Seattle team. Arizona, on the other hand, uh, although they played San Fran, they ran the ball great. Peterson looked amazing, close to 150 yards in one game. Uh, I'm going to take Arizona here at plus the six, but I, I, I prefer under the total of 41 and a half. I think this is going to be a low scoring football game. Next on the card is Minnesota against Washington. We just spoke about Washington. Uh, they, they really looked good last week, especially defensively. And Minnesota, although coming off of a bye, I just really don't believe in this Minnesota team. I know they're winning games, uh, but I think they go into Washington and get beat. So I'm going to take the home dog here at Washington plus one and a half points. And I, and I lean slightly on under the total of 42 and a half. Uh, the next uh, on the card is Green Bay and Chicago, and Green Bay just can't put it together at all. Uh, th this could be the worst team in football without Aaron Rodgers, which just goes to show how great Aaron Rodgers is. Chicago's coming off of a bye, and they're playing decent football at best, medium of the pack, if you will. They're minus five. I can't remember when Chicago was minus five against Green Bay. Uh, must have been 10, 15 years ago. Uh, but I'm going to take the home favorite here. I like Chicago in minus five. I just don't think Green Bay is going to score more than 10, 13 points in this game. Next up is Pittsburgh and Indianapolis. Pittsburgh minus 10. It's way too big a number for Pittsburgh on the road. And Indianapolis is playing much better. Their quarterback looked decent last week. Uh, T.Y. Hilton went off. I'm going to take the Colts at plus 10 in this football game. Uh... Are they going to win? No, but I think they could keep this game close and there's going to be a huge backdoor available to us. The LA Chargers against Jacksonville. Jacksonville's defense is unbelievable. I mean, this is a historic defense. Teams are really struggling to score on this team and the Chargers have been really struggling to score all year. I, I lean on the Chargers a bit in this game, but really I think the bet here is under 41 points. Next up are the New York Jets going into Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay, what a letdown season they have had. They had so many expectations for this year, and now they've lost their quarterback. They're home at plus two and a half, and they're playing the Jets team that's playing 
you know, pretty good football, if you will, especially last Thursday against Buffalo. With that said, I'm actually going to take Tampa Bay in this game at plus two and a half, and I lean on under the total of 41 points. Now we have Cincinnati and Tennessee, and Cincinnati looked awful last week against Jacksonville, but we did discuss how great Jacksonville's defense is. And I, I don't think Tennessee has really put together a complete game yet this year. Tennessee is minus four and a half, and that's just too much. I think this is a field goal game. I like under the total of 40 and a half points in this game, and I do lean on the Bengals because I just think four and a half is too many points. Now we've got New Orleans against Buffalo, and the New Orleans Saints are the surprise team of football right now. Their D is playing absolutely outstanding, and their offense is getting it done when they need to. Buffalo was playing great until they uh, ran into the New York Jet juggernaut last Thursday night, but I think the Bills are much better than what they showed on national TV. I'm going to take the Bills at plus two and a half points, and I'm also going to take under the total of 46 and a half. Next on the card are Cleveland and Detroit, and Detroit minus 12 and a half at home. That's the biggest line I've seen for Detroit at home in ages. Uh, Cleveland is obviously a really bad team, but this is just too many points. Detroit finally, finally put some points up on the board against Green Bay this week, but a couple of those touchdowns were really late touchdowns. They weren't exactly uh, an offensive juggernaut last night. So I'm going to lean on Cleveland at plus 12 and a half. And again, I'm going to go on another under, under the total of 44 points. Now we have all the late games. But before we get into the late games, let's take a quick musical interlude, if you will. I'm a Sabbath fan. I played it last week and I'm playing it now. Did I mention? I cut my hair. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you think about my hair. Oh, how great is this song? I mean, come on. To think about the music the kids listen to, this song is a masterpiece. Paranoid by Black Sabbath. Ozzy sounds so good. Okay, before we get into the late games, let me remind you all, uh, visit my Twitter account. That's Prez, at Prez Wager Talk. That's at Prez Wager Talk. Also, please share this video on social media as well as like it. Make some comments, even if they're bad. Um, and use the promo code at Wager Talk, uh, NFL350. You get my entire NFL season and playoffs for $350. Uh, go to wagertalk.com. Use the promo code NFL350. Should we just listen to listen, one, one, one last one? Oh, I love this band. Okay, let's let, let's continue, guys. We've got uh, we've got the Houston Texans going into Los Angeles to play the Rams. Or the Rams could they be playing any better? Jared Goff looks like he's for real. Last year, everybody thought uh, they had made a big mistake taking him over Wentz, but Goff looks amazing. Robert Woods was outstanding. Sammy Watkins looked great. Todd Gurley probably the best back in all of football right now. This Los Angeles, and their defense is really, really solid. This Rams team is a Super Bowl contender out of the blue, and they're minus 11 against the Houston team that couldn't get it done at all last week. Uh, they just do not have a quarterback. Savage as well, Savage. Uh, I'm going to lean on minus 11. I don't love taking such a big number, but I, I, you can count on the Rams putting up 30 points. I don't think you can count on Houston putting up more than 13 to 17 at the most. So I'm going to take this home favorite at minus 11, but I prefer you stick it in a, in a, a three-team 10-point teaser. Maybe the Rams, Detroit Lions, and Pittsburgh is a three-team 10-pointer. Uh, next, we've got Dallas against Atlanta, and I think this is the game of the week. Both of these teams really must win this football game. Dallas is playing outstanding right now, but they are, they, they, they're just too far back on Philly to afford to lose any more football games. And Philly is absolutely dominant right now. Atlanta losing touch with New Orleans and Carolina and just couldn't put it together last week at all. Frankly, they haven't been able to put it together for the last four or five games. With that said, we're going to take the Falcons at minus three points. 
I think they do put it together this week, and I think you actually will see uh, a much improved Atlanta Falcons team. Take them minus the three. I expect them to win anywhere between four and ten. New York Giants may be the worst team in football going into San Fran, and this has to be the week the 49ers win their game. They're plus one, and we're going to take the 49ers in this football game. But what we're not going to do is watch it. The New, Orleans, the New England Patriots against the Denver Broncos Sunday night game, and this would have been a doozy, except Denver is horrific. They're at home at plus seven and a half, and they have a New England team coming off of a bye. I don't like the hook in this game. I prefer it be minus six, so I'm likely going to stay away from the side. But I do actually think this game will go over the total of 46 and a half points. And last up in the Monday night game is Miami against Carolina. Miami at plus nine on the road. The over and under is 39 and a half, and Carolina's defense is outstanding. I think Miami really struggles to score in this football game. I like Carolina ever so slightly, but I think the bet on this game is under the total of 39 and a half points. That's it for the presidential address. I think we should leave you with a little bit more Black Sabbath. Why not? Let's, uh, let's play a teeny bit more. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Make sure to follow me at Twitter, uh, at preswagertalk.com. Also, visit me at wagertalk.com. Use the promo code NFL350 to get my, uh, my regular season and playoffs for $350. And please, folks, like and share this video. It's so my pleasure doing it every week. I uh, will see you next Tuesday at YouTube uh, and at wagertalk.com with the uh, presidential NFL opening line report.